Hi, my name is Gary Johnston, and I teach middle school uh, science at Saigon South International School in Ho Chi Minh City. And the first day of class for our unit in chemistry, I told the students that the, the challenge would be to see if they could design a distillation apparatus to purify water uh, as part of a some of the assessment for a unit in chemistry. Uh, we'd be collecting some water quality indicators and uh, engineering a device uh, through homemade materials. Um, lack of potable water is one of the UN's Millennium Development Goals. The three standards that I focused on were law of conservation of matter, communicating procedures, and mathematics. The site that we collected water from was a river in downtown Ho Chi Minh City. I also used the SAMR model throughout the project to uh, figure out ways to help data collection early on in the process and also think about it for the learning product. Um, tools like Infuse Learning were great for exit interviews at the end of class to ensure that learning centers are met, for example, uh, could students use mathematics, um, some of the projects we're doing. Also things like Google Forms uh, were used for quizzes periodically just to test content knowledge and scripts like Blueberry uh, were used just to really quickly or, uh, quickly and correctly co collect real-time data. I also used the script Autocrat a number of times to send personalized feedback to all the students to make sure that they didn't understand some of these content foundations. Uh, these could help them uh, relearn these. The iPads I took traditionally use the summative assessments, but in this case they were used to document the procedure of a very complex engineering device. So, for example, uh, we use Snap Guide and also explain uh, everything to document uh, how this thing was uh, put together and what it looks like for reference. Um, for our final, our final work after our final reflections are done, um, the students are going to paste their work up on their blogs for peer review from some of the classrooms around the world with other classes I'm connected to. Here, right? Um, we made like a comb, and then we cut here so that it is attachable here. With this, so the water's gonna just go like back and forth. What if it comes back? And like some kind of like. Well, it's hard to actually stick it with um, that tape with the aluminum foil with the cardboard, and I think it's hard to um, get the amount right and how much we need. The project is all about the good looks. Okay. And the water starts here. There's a filter in here that you can see. So it goes through the filter, into the aluminum funnel, through the pipe, into the pan where it gets heated up, and then the rest of the apparatus we store in. I think thing that makes a good design for anything in life would probably be the fact that it is organized, it is well structured, it is logical, and awkward moments. <laughs> I think that um, it's very frustrating because things are breaking apart and we didn't expect that it would be that like that. So, Well the material we used was um, different from what we thought it was. For example the tape was not plastic so we worry that it might the water might leak through. And you can't pull it off? Yeah. Come on, just give it a try for the audience so they can see. Ow, stop. Don't record. Don't record anything. I don't you dare. I'm recording everything right now. <laughs> Even when Davina said she was going to kill you. Well, it's not working the way that we expected it to. 
Um, so I think that we should just kind of start from scratch because I think the cardboard, it's, it's not going over the pan properly, so it's not working the way we expected it to. Water ended up over here where it was steam, but it didn't come out here. But in here, it was water. It dripped out of my, into my pants. How many percent is that? We don't care. Okay, amount of water collected. Two milliliters. Two. Two. My apparatus didn't work as I thought it would. I thought like the steam would like float up to like um to condensate over the side, but instead it just stayed where it was and the water dropped back onto the pan. Uh, as the law says, no matter is lost. So when our first trial, we tried and we got 1% of the 50 milliliter of waters. Um, my guess is that the, the other water that evaporated went into the air because we didn't cover the pan, which the air evaporates out. So that's maybe where the other water went.